Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Puru Koirala. I work as an assistant professor in the Division of Pulmonary, Critical Care and Sleep Medicine in BP Koirala Institute of Health Sciences. In my career of, uh, in medical science, I have gone through uh, MBBS, MD and DM. And uh, this is my fifth year uh, teaching, in, teaching in a medical institute. I have experience with teaching undergraduate students, MBBS students as well as postgraduate students. So over these years, I have concluded that there are a few basic things that we require when we interview patients or when we make a clinical diagnosis, what are the points that we need to keep in mind. So some basic points are, uh, one should have respect for the patient and the patient's primary caregivers. That is the first point that we should always remember as medical students or even as clinical uh, clinicians. Professionals, uh, clinical professionals, no? we need to remember that we need to have good communication skills. We need to uh, take a proper history, integrate it well with a good sound physical examination, keeping in mind the, uh, the, the choices that the patient may be having regarding how he wants to be examined and how he needs to be interviewed. So with, with these things in mind, what we need is to do is build up a good rapport with the patient, have a good communication skills and a sound knowledge of what the underlying problem might be, how to approach the case. So these you can, one can acquire by repeated practice. It does not come from uh, rote learning or reading a book. No, this, is, this always requires practice. And by practice, I mean to say, uh, uh, taking, uh, being diligent with your history taking. This is for the students actually, you know, proper history taking and uh, proper physical examination techniques. Then over the course of the years that you go through medical school, we realize that uh, we need to understand uh, what background the patient comes from so that you will be able to communicate with them properly. So developing a good rapport with the patient and uh, knowing what cultural background the patient is coming from, his religion, her religion for example, will help us understand and uh, the patient's problems and more, more uh, important about, uh, more important than making a diagnosis is about how comfortable your patient is while you are dealing with him. That is more important than arriving at a uh, immediate uh, correct diagnosis. So I think uh, all students, uh, medical students and clinicians should keep in mind these few points. Lama Sassi Day Pali. We are dealing here with, a, with an elderly male. He is a known case of type 2 diabetes mellitus and he has been admitted for uh, some sort of chronic pleurisy. On history and physical exam, we found that it is a case of chronic superative pleurisy. Particularly, it is a case of empyema thoracis right side. So, we have already put in a tube thoracostomy. Patient has improved subsequent with the drainage of the, uh, the bus. And uh, it has been, I think, uh, today is the fourth, fifth day of admission. So, he is on treatment. His diabetes is also uh, under control. And uh, he is not having any new onset dyspnea. His symptoms have improved, cough has improved. And uh, basically now I will just counsel with the patient party also so that you will understand the, uh, the problem the patient is suffering from. Otherly, other two are only. Otherly, it was a matter of the problem. Baba was saying, Chini could be married while he didn't feel like that. But I will say about the Poxo Baira, Juntaine Poxo Baira, Pani Jomega, just to take the Gunar. Keep Jomega Gunar, I will fight for that. अनि अब निकै लामो समय भन्दा पनि 7-8 दिन त राखिन्छ प्राय हैन मेन चाहिँ अब यो जुन 1 लिटर 2 लिटर जुन पिक निस्किराछ छ नि जति निस्केको त्यति राम्रो हो हैन तर प्राय चिनीको बिमारी भएको हुनाले चाहिँ नभएको भए चिनीको बिमारी नभएको भए अरु कुनै लाम समयको बिमारी नभएको भए छिटै निको हुन्छ तर पिक जमिनुको कारण पनि डायबिटिसकै बिमारीले गर्छ त्यसो हुनाले चाहिँ दबाई लामो समय चलाउनु पर्ने हुन्छ हैन कसरी कसरी चाहिँ 1.5 महिना सम्म 
सुई न भए पनि मुखैबाट खाने भए पनि लामो समय चलाउनु पर्छ पाइप चाहिँ जबसम्म यो पानी ती कम हुँदै जाँदै जान्छ तब मात्रै निकाल त्यो बुझ्नु होला अरू चाहिँ अब टिभी हो कि होइन त्यसको पनि अनुसन्धान चल्दैछ होइन हजुरलाई अघि पनि भनेको थिएँ मैले होइन तर प्राय यस्तो बिमारीमा टिभी भन्दा पनि अरू नै कीटाणुको लक्षणहरू चाहिँ देखिन्छ त्यसको चाहिँ अब लामो समय यो पाइप चाहिँ अब हद्दै भए पनि दस बाह्र दिन हुन्छ प्राय चाहिँ होइन टिभी कम भएर हुन्छ त्यो अपरेसन गर्नुपर्छ पर्दैन त्यो चाहिँ पछिको दिन प्राय पाइप लगाएपछि निको नै हुन्छ होइन तर अलिक लामो समय राख्नुपर्ने तपाईँलाई के सोध्नु छ ठीक छ अब दुई चार दिन हेर्नुपर्छ है